Hey guys, I know it's been like a while, but I had a lot of stuff going on. My face started to break out again, and I was not coming on the camera looking like a hot mess. But if you hear noise in the background, just block it out and let's get straight to the point. Today's video is going to be about what not to do if you want longer and healthier hair. Well, these are what I had to not do if you know people who do this stuff and their hair is like growing or whatever that's them but I'm telling you what I had to not do and you could probably try not to do it too if you want longer hair don't sleep on cotton like some of you don't tie your hair at night and some of you tie your hair with these you know these bandana looking things stop it like seriously cotton dries your hair out and try to invest in these satin pillowcases if you don't want to tie your hair at night I got this at Walmart in Puerto Rico for about three dollars and change so if you're going to tie your hair tie your hair with something like satin cause think about it you're twisting and turning at night and you're on cotton and like your hair is just the moisture is just being pulled out your hair or also think of it like this think about sleeping on a floor like the actual floor dirt with rocks and think about twisting and turning of course you're going to get bruises right but think about if you're sleeping on like wood that's like vinyl or the smooth surfaces you're not going to be as bruised right so that's why you want to tie your hair with satin and not cotton and don't sleep on cotton pillowcases invest in silk satin pillowcases if some of you, of you are like me like sometimes I just want to sleep and just lay on my bed like right away don't have to do anything to it so that's why I had to get a satin pillowcase because sometimes I just forgot to tie my hair at night another thing do not use your home scissors that's about 10 to 20 hairs on top of your hair like you hear how that sounds like that's so dangerous i used to do it i am going to be very honest with you i used to trim my hair thinking that i'm doing something right actually it was doing it wrong because the scissors is like dull and your hair is like so thin it needs something sharp like really sharp so invest in a uh, professional scissors or go to the hairdresser to trim your hair do not give your hair the opportunity to be dry i know some of us it's very hard for us to moisturize every day especially me i just ain't about that life moisturizing every day so you want to just make sure your hair isn't dry but some of us have to moisturize every day because when we add moisture in our hair we don't seal it so i usually add my shea butter and then seal it with a thick oil like castor oil and usually that can last me moisturize hair for like two to three days do not use heat every day you want longer hair right but you're putting heat on it every day then you have to constantly be trimming because your ends start to look frayed and old and damaged so you have to cut it unless trim it unless it just break off so you adding heat every day would slow up your process of having longer hair are what you eat and I recently realized that so try not to eat junk foods as ever so often and like drink sodas you know eat unhealthy try not to do that and try to not try to exercise cause I've been exercising lately and look what I got insanity i'm on my last week because you are what you eat and your hair is on your head so what you eat is going to affect your hair 
Raise your hand if you have hand and hair syndrome. Hello. I, there is a time in the year when I just can't keep my hands out of my hair. And in order to combat that, I have to braid my hair or I have to weave my hair. Else, I am not disciplined enough to keep my hands out of my hair. Try not to be near hair as often because less mani manipulation is the better. Because if you're in your hair every day, tugging, pulling, like if you're not in your hair every day, boss is that you have healthier plus longer hair. Hope you guys understand that logic. Because I don't use combs in my hair anymore. Because my hair is like the kind of texture where any um, much manipulation will just like affect my hair like dangerously and I realized like, I was getting a lot of breakage and split ends because it's combing, combing even if I use the big teeth combs you can use them, invest in them if you have like thicker hair but I cannot, I stopped using combs in my hair not use shampoo alone in your hair stop skipping conditioner I used to do this a lot because I was like so annoyed about how long the process of washing your hair was. So I skipped it. And I was doing more harm than good because shampoo like dries your hair out and the purpose of the conditioner is to add back in a little moisture you lost. And it was it's not don't skip conditioning, like seriously. And for me, I don't, I rarely, rarely use shampoo because I don't put anything at all on my scalp. If I do, it's going to itch me like crazy. Not even the natural oils or whatever. I cannot put anything on my scalp. So my hair is usually never dirty. Only like if my hair is on my strands. My scalp is never usually dirty, I'm sorry. But on my strands, is like really way down so you know I have to co-wash yes that's what I do I co-wash and I don't use shampoo as often guys I have absolutely no problem with grease cause I kinda added back dax in my regimen however it doesn't touch my scalp it doesn't even come close to my scalp cause when you grease your scalp, it blocks your pores, right? And in order for your hair to grow, you have to have clear pores. And also, if you grease your scalp, you have to wash your hair more often because it causes buildup. So I don't recommend people putting grease on their scalp, no matter what the direction say that you can use it on your scalp if it has a mineral oil and petroleum it will block your scalp understand when I'm just on Jamaica you but you understand any oh <laughs> you can use grease on your hair like your strands like try to stay far as possible from your scalp thank you guys for watching the video I hope I helped you in somehow